Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Order. Apologies, Mr. Speaker, I can't hear myself think. Uh, um, my speaker is to. <laughs> Order. We're nearly there. One to go. Question number 12, Ian McKelvey. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my, question, <laughs> my question is to the Minister for Food Safety. What initiatives has the government put in place to encourage the food and beverage industry to reduce the sugar content? Of their products. The Mr. Honourable Speaker. Joe Goodhue. Mr. Speaker, well, last year the government introduced voluntary front of pack labelling called the Health Star Rating System. These labels make it easy for shoppers to understand the nutritional value of the food they're buying so they can more easily make healthy choices. This has created a competitive environment in which the industry has reduced sugar to obtain more stars. Supplementary Speaker. Supplementary question, in McKelvey. How has the industry responded to this labelling system? The Mr. Honourable Speaker, Joe Goodhue. Very well. Already there are more than 600 products on supermarket shelves. They are using these labels already. The number of products being rolled out with new labels is growing so fast the product lists are almost out of date when I receive them. Well over a thousand products will be on the shelves by the end of the year, and that will continue to increase as the phasing in periods for the new labels come along. Very importantly, more than 95 per cent of all juice and non-alcoholic drinks will soon have the Health Star labels, and our two largest supermarket chains are rolling the labels out on their home brand products and the bulk bin section of their stores. Supplementary speaking. Order. 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 Supplementary question, now, McKelvey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. How are these labels encouraging the food industry to reduce the sugar content of these products? Honourable Joe Goodhue. Mr. Speaker, the voluntary system has encouraged food businesses to look carefully at their recipes to reduce sugar, fat, and salt to improve the nutritional content. Many of our staple products, like breads and cereals, now contain less sugar. This is just far too much good news for the opposition to possibly contemplate, it seems. Due to this initiative, 70 per cent of all breakfast cereals have been reformulated to reduce sugar content, and they did it voluntarily, members of the House. Nestle last night Bring announced on television that they have doubled the fibre level and reduced Order. by 70 per cent the answer's going on too long. That, that concludes questions for order. Order. That concludes questions for all answer. The interrupted debate on the Social Security commencement of benefits amendment bill is resumed. Jan Logie had the call and has seven minutes.